Welcome back to another video here by Wendley Well Services, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, gonna give you a little bit of a different video today, and that's a, a uh, how not to do something. Um, I can't tell you, uh, we see this a lot. Um, you know, people try to put their own pump in or, uh, you know, just kind of go grab what they have. And uh, what I'm gonna get into today is how not to uh, how not to attach your pipe to your pump. And that's right here behind me. Um, can't tell you how many times I've seen this so just in case you're wondering uh, this is a schedule 40 inch and a quarter adapter a inch and a quarter by one inch reducer then the pipe will be glued in here and you know with these with the pump like this doesn't even matter if it's a half three quarter you know these pumps are starting and stopping uh, a lot as you use them you know there's a lot of torque and there's a lot of stress put, don't put on these fittings here and I can't tell you how many times I've shown up to a well, there won't be any water coming out of the pipe at the top of the well, you pull the pump out, and this male fitting is wrung off right here. Um, so, you know, the main point of emphasis uh, when attaching any kind of pipe uh, to a pump, especially right here above it, where, uh, you know, this particular fitting is gonna be seeing the most torque, is to have a solid, uh, rigid fitting. Um, what, what we prefer, is these uh, stainless steel check valves made by Simmons um, you know again this is talking about a residential uh, situation here where you're typically probably gonna have a uh, one inch roll pipe um, you know coming out of here with a barb fitting or you're gonna have schedule 80 PVC screwed into here um, you know not only is this a stainless steel valve that's strong um, you know, gonna, gonna be able to withstand the torque that this pump uh, puts on it by cutting on and off. Um, but it's also a uh, additional check valve. Uh, you can see it here, it's, you know, nothing to it. Doesn't cost a lot of money. Um, but you know, the number one thing you don't want to happen is to um, have, have your check valve fail. A lot of times these pumps will have a check valve come in them. But the number one thing you don't want happening is to have a check valve fail and then every time your pump cuts off, the water leaks back down in the well, which can cause you uh, to have more problems. So, uh, just a quick video of how uh, not to do something. Again, make sure you have a solid connection out there uh, when you're attaching anything to the top of your pump. Uh, thanks for watching. Check us out at WendellyWellServices.com and stay tuned for more videos coming up in the future.